Hi folks, Philip Andrews here for the Photoshop Elements team looking at some new features for Photoshop Elements 11. I think you probably already noticed that when you've opened up the Organizer workspace that we have four new modes across the top of the screen here. And these modes are different ways that we can view our images. Again, it's a way that Photoshop Elements can help us get to our images, get to the very images that we want to see more quickly and more easily. So how do, how do we actually go about using these new modes of viewing? Well, by default when we view our images we're working in the media mode. So you'll see the images in your catalogue based on the type of media that they are. So look at this subset of images that we have here. If I go up to view and then down to media type you'll see that all of the different media that I can bring into my catalogue are listed here. If I go through and turn off some of these, you'll see that I'll start to get a subset of images being displayed in my organizer. So now I've just got the one video being displayed here. If I want to go and now add audio into the mix, I can do so and I'll have video and audio files uh, in the mix as well. If I then add photos back in, I'll get all the images brought back into the display as well. So that's media. Let's look at people. If I select people, you'll see that I've got one person here, Eloise, and we have a group of images associated with her. So let's go grab another image of Eloise and add that to the group. Drag it up to the album, go into the album, select that image, click add people. save it and then type in the name of the person that we wish to add. Now because I have my Facebook connected through to Photoshop Elements I'm able to add in the Facebook name of the person as well. So then if we go and look at people and have a look at the images associated with that you'll see two images have now been associated with Eloise. So this way you can go through and group all of your images associated with individuals. Let's go back to the full media group now and look at how we can sort our images based on places. If I select the places heading, you'll see that I have already two groups of images, one associated with a place in Australia and one associated with a place in California. If I click on the little map pin and then click the sideways arrow, I can see the images associated with this place in California. The same thing occurs if I go and click on the map pin in Australia, I can see the images associated with that. So let's go back to media and add in a new place. I'm going to select these two images here and then just go down to add places. Type in a name for the place that we want to add the images to. Press search. It'll go and find that particular spot and you can click the tick to add the images to that place. Now just click done and those files have been added to that place. If we now go to places, you'll see that we have a second entry in Australia and we can click show media and this is where the images have been added. It's a great way for you to sort your images according to places that you've been. And finally we have events. If we go and select events, you'll see that we already have one event shown here. As I scroll across the thumbnail, you'll see the images associated with that event. If I go back to all media, let's now create a second event. So we'll go and click on the images we want to add to the event and then click on add event type in the name of the event here, US trip, type a description if you wish, fantastic seascapes, and then click done. Now when we go to the events mode of viewing, you'll see we have a second events option here. Scroll across the thumbnails and you'll see those two images that we've included. Click on the little eye icon and you'll see the description, Fantastic Seascapes. These four new viewing modes in Photoshop Elements 11 now make it much easier to locate and group your pictures in ways that make sense.